So we had a break in the very cold weather, the very gloomy, dark cold weather. We had a pretty bright day out today, very sunny day. It actually got pretty warm in the greenhouse here. So that gave me a good stretch of time to, to work on trying to come up with a, a good system for heating the aquaponics. Um, so right now, I ha already had in my possession a 250 watt aquarium heater cranked up pretty high. <laughs> I've learned that this is uh, cranked up to the 82 degrees Fahrenheit, but it gets nowhere close to that, it, I will admit. Um, fighting against the cold, cold days out here in the greenhouse. Now, luckily this greenhouse stays above freezing temperatures, but thus far, but uh, it does get kind of cold here, especially if it's been several cloudy days and it's, and it's 12 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So it's going to be it's going to be a challenge to keep this nice and warm and cozy. Now, why does temperature matter? One, I don't want my fish to freeze, but also because, uh, well, for one, the fish do require a temperature of at the very least 60 degrees for normal functioning. Once you get below that, especially below 55 and into 50 degree Fahrenheit, the uh, digest the fish start going into a sort of a, a hibernation. That's what they would do out in a pond in, in winter. And I've raised koi outside in the past. I kind of know this this cycle for fish. When the weather starts getting cold and the temperature of the water gets below 55 degrees Fahrenheit, you stop feeding them. And you definitely do not feed them if it goes below 50 because it might kill them because they'll still eat and they may die. Because basically as they kind of get into that hibernation like state, their digestive system slows down to almost a stop. So if you feed them, you, they're going to potentially eat, not be able to process that food and actually kind of and, and die, <laughs> you know, uh, which is horrible for the fish. And I don't want it to as an aquaponic system because I need them to be pooping and producing wastes in all forms. Also, you know, moaning out the gills to run the system and, and, and process the food and, and create more food, grow more food. So it's important to me to keep this. I would like to keep it. 70, uh, excuse me, 60 degrees would be amazing. Now, another reason why I want to be able to heat the water here is that what I'm hoping will happen is as I pump the water from this, the reservoir where the fish are, up there to the biofilter, and the, the, the heated water goes through the biofilter and runs down the channels here back into the fish tank, I'm hoping that that warm water will warm the plants. So I'm going to be, first round of plants I'm going to grow are all leafy greens, something that should be okay in, in at least under the protection of this greenhouse in the middle of winter. But I want to see how well they do and if I can actually create a, like a nice little warm micro environment. Now, another cool thing to do is maybe cover the whole system in plastic. So that's something to explore, but I'll save that for another video. So for right now, I have just insulation uh, wrapped around, very crudely wrapped around the fish tank. Again, I have the heater in there. I have this just set on top. I need to come up with a better system. And had I had one available, I probably would have made a fish tank out of a large cooler, like a drink cooler. So it would be heavily insulated. And I still might do that. I might go try to price some stuff out to see if that's better. But, um, you know, for now, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just using a plastic, double, double layered plastic tote. And I said uh, I had the 250 watt heater in there. It's working pretty well. I have to crank that heater. One, I think that heater is kind of dead because it's one that I've had from years ago when I did my um, aquaponics and just was more of an aquarium hobbyist. So it's been around quite a few years. I don't think it works as well as it used to be. So I may consider getting a new one. I may consider getting one that I can fine tune a little bit better in terms of temperature. One that has a better developed thermostat to be able to shut off and shut on as necessary and really properly regu regulate the temperature. So you have to understand that as the hot water, even if I get the, the water nice and hot up here, it goes up to the biofilter, which I may, I may also wrap in insulation. But as it goes down the channels, releases some of that heat to the plants, it's gonna cool down. It's gonna go like seven, eight feet down these channels back into the back into the tank. So, you know, I'm constantly having to basically reheat that water. Now, I think they'll be okay. Like, of course, there's a, there's a cost associated with it. And I actually just recorded a video talking about, you know, uh, you know, I bring my, I, I do this setup inside and I have to pay for grow lights. I bring it outside where I have some natural light, but I have to pay for heating, <laughs> you know? So one way or another, I've got to invest money to grow plants during the winter, but it's worth it. It is worth it. It's an investment in my soul and my mental well-being. But uh, that's currently what's going on with the aquaponics. I just wanted to provide an update. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I definitely will be making improvements. I will say thus far, the water in there is very comfortable. Uh, I have gone it up into the 60 degree Fahrenheit range. So I think we're in a good place. 
But I'm going to keep watching it and figure out what to do before we get fish really involved in the system and get this thing really going. So for right now, it is just fine tuning. And that's what happens when you set up any new aquaponic or hydroponic system. You really need, especially if you're doing kind of an experimental crazy one out of nowhere, you need to let it run. You need to see what's, what's going on because you need to see where the faults are. Is there any leaks? You know, is the water flowing back fast enough? Is it going through the filter fast enough? Is the filter backing up? You know, you need to get a feel for all those things. So we're just part of that process. And I'm going to take you along with me in that process. So you can see every step of the way what I'm doing with this aquaponic system. And I post videos every single day at this point, except for Sundays when I do a live stream. So there'll be a lot of videos and a lot of updates. And I'll take you every step of the way. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you're new or you're returning, could you share this video? I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your thoughts below in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.